Another week goes by as ISIS continues to threaten us with another beheading. I stopped by the Roasters on Georgia to ask you if you agree with combating ISIS with airstrikes. In a general sense, yes. I, I do agree with the limited airstrikes because I think there's something we need to do in order to help contain ISIS at, at this point in time. However, many of you know it's not always that easy. I know we have to do something. I just really don't trust um, this administration. I don't think that we have a goal that's um, clear and uh, concrete that we know what we're going, why we would put troops in there and then um, how could we accomplish a goal if we don't know what the goal is. There's always going to be collateral damage so that's why I'm an advocate of very limited airstrikes to minimize any type of collateral damage. And then there's a question about sending in ground troops. Do you support sending in our own men and women to fight ISIS on the ground? With ground troops on the ground, it uh, doesn't make a lot of sense at this point in time. And who knows what the end game would be and how, how much that would escalate to. Well, I have a son who's a Marine, so no, I'm really not gung-ho about sending in ground troops. Overall, I wanted to know if you have confidence in our country defeating this terrorist group. I think that we can defeat anyone we put our mind to. We have the greatest military um, in the world. Yeah, but I, I don't think we really know who ISIS really is. It's a pretty nebulous uh, creature out there, and I don't think we're going to beat it with a conventional military strategy. We want you to keep this conversation going with us. Tell us if you agree or disagree with airstrikes and ground troops by leaving your comments on our Pro News 7 Facebook page. For Say What, Jeannie Nguyen, Pro News 7.